Hello and happy gaming, everyone. I guess I kind of forgot that I had my mic off last time I was recording. I was just gathering some general general footage. So, we're back to Binding of Isaac. Still want to try to get to Delirium with Maggie, so let's give it a whirl. What's the... The only thing we have to lose is potentially pride. Oh, oh this is a good way to get five points. I'm down. And, ooh, Tinted Rock. But, I need bombs first. Oh, it's always so iffy, because I know it's a, both a damage and a tier rate upgrade, and, you know, I'm just going to take it. I'm not going to second, not going to second guess it. We're just going to have to roll with it. And yes, I'm aware that I could have just said, eh, no guillotine for me. Not, not in the mood for a confusing run today, but I also know that it is both a damage and a fire rate upgrade, and I can use my head as an orbital, like that. So, it comes off as being like a, I know that this is a good item, I need to, I need to practice with it, get better with it. Simultaneously, I also know that when I pick this item up, I end up confusing myself. And it's not too difficult to see why if you're used to playing the game as if you're used to playing the game with, you know, the default characters and whatnot. And just the way that they fire, like again, I get that it's supposed to be a good item. I just it confuses me. I'm sorry. See, because you're so used to judging where your character is based upon the giant fucking head sprite. Alright, and that's gonna put me in a bit of trouble because I was trying to get black hearts out of the virus. So, my bad there. We are going to have to just try to play better. Sometimes it's just not worth going for the super risky moves. Not when not when you're already in a bit in a bit of a spot of bother. There we go. That's not a speed up, is it? So I kind of don't want to take it. Come on, spiders, come on. See, this is another thing I don't like about guillotine, which makes me wonder why... Well, again, I know why I took it. I just, I'm not sure it's a good enough reason. And that is that... My shots will oftentimes get stuck in walls because my head will be in a wall that obviously you can't shoot through. The more I think about it, the more I think that taking guillotine was a bit of a mistake, but I'm still gonna try. We're still putting we're still putting this out there. We're gonna give him do our best with it. I made my own bed, now I have to lie in it. Oh, hey, game, you want to be nice and give me a key? Could really use that item room, you know. Or maybe reverse psychology. Boy, I would hate being able to get into the item room or the shop right now. I wonder if it's working. Let me in! Oh, oh. Careful. There we go. I think right now it'd be better to hit the shop. 
I have the money for it, and I can probably pick up some things there that'll make my life a little easier. And if I can also buy a key in the shop, that would be wonderful. So, yeah, I think this is worth it. Mom's key and a soul heart. Plus, this will help out later because I'll be getting more stuff out of treasure chests. So, all in all, I'd say pretty good plays to be made here. Kidney bean. Hmm. How about no? I have my doubts, but hey, what the hell. Actually, in this scenario, I think it'd be better to keep Yum Heart just because I need to be able to regenerate. I am in an awkward position right now, and I need to be able to do my best. Right now, my best includes being able to... Being able to come back from dire situations, which may involve needing to use... At the same time... I don't know. Right now, I'm not sure what the smart move would be. I have plenty of information as to what dumb moves would be, but... Which move is the biggest galaxy brain play? Use, use Yum Heart for that, for that sweet regeneration, or use Teleport 2.0 to potentially guarantee um, guarantee special, uh, special rooms. Well, this helps out quite a bit, because now I don't have to worry about my shots not being able to go through, go through things. That, in and of itself, makes helps me make my decision. Alright, yep, I think I am going to go ahead and take... Brain fart. Yeah, teleport 2.0. Potentially error room. Okay, this has got to be the stupidest error room I've ever seen. This room is just nothing but one big trap, but you know I'm going to hit every button just on the off chance that it's going to be something useful. Okay. So, in the long run, I guess that could have been worse. Still not 100% sure I approve. Um, oh, little teratomas. Okay. Pieces of spider cocoon. So in case I in case I miss in case anyone missed it, hey, Merry Christmas. I hope everyone got some of the things that they wanted for Christmas. Everyone got to hang out with friends and family, have a good time. You know, just generally got the chance to make merry as we all should as we all should on Christmas. Hey, I already took one bad item game. You can't fool me into taking another one. Spirit of the Night is going to help out a lot. 
It's going to make him, basically going to take him, make that margin for error just a little bit wider. Except for I hate these enemies. Okay, enough with the random, with the randomness. Hey, okay, can we just get rid of these things? There we go. Why, yes, I did think it was a good idea to use my orbital against them. No, I didn't think that through very clearly. Come on. There we go. So, shop is definitely high priority. Oops. Only problem I'm having is now because of Spirit of the Night, now it's even harder to keep track of my body. So no, this probably wasn't the smartest move for me to make, but it's one of those things where I understand that guillotine is supposed to be a good item, so I'm really trying my best to get used to it. it is easier said than done, though. No, pardon me. Still, I'm not complaining about a little early, a little early game DPS improvement. I just hope that hope that it can keep going. Hey, admittedly, an obsessed fan is helping more than I thought it would. Also, now that I'm... Now that I'm thinking about it, got a movement speed up upgrade would be nice. Just a way to get in there and use that orbital a little bit more effectively would just make my day. Ooh. Alright, that's definitely a big help. And I do want the... Oh, bloody penny. I don't know how much that's actually going to help, but... You know, it's probably, be probably better than... Probably better than black lipstick, which I don't... I don't really know of a good way to use effectively. And that can effectively that will effectively guarantee us a devil deal room. Now we just now we just need to beat the boss. And then if we can get another charge after that, that guarantees us the error room. Okay, that's enough polycephalus. That I suck. Oh, lovely Krampus. So the obvious thing that we're looking for here is a lump of coal, which hopefully no one got yesterday. That's not lump of coal. I, could, I don't. I don't want that. Now, 
Why am I even fighting these guys? Like, honestly, what is this going to get me? getting really busy. I guess there's a part of me that's hoping that I get some sort of decent item drop off of them after I beat them. And I didn't, and now I feel stupid. Maybe that'll increase the hitbox size of my, of my orbital. Would be nice. Especially considering that I basically just screwed myself there by actually fighting them. Alright, so that is that is an example of a of a that was a bad idea move. Like I said, the only reason why I made that play is thinking, well, maybe beating them will actually be worth some sort of good item. It was not, and now I'm now I'm finding myself in a really bad position because of it. That was, that was one of those things where after I saw it was just the Minecrafter item and a whole and a whole bunch of whole bunch of bad tidings in the form of Ragman, I should have just noped the hell out of there, but I got greedy. I was thinking maybe maybe if I beat them they'll drop another pedestal item, which you know, there is no reason why that why I should have even thought that would be a thing. I've never seen that happen there. I don't know. I that was one of that was one of those instances where the where the error room was a, was not a good thing for me. So now we need to play extra careful because we are in a bit of a jam. Now we're in an even bigger jam because these items are not good. Yeah, I know it's infinite bombs, but I know I know me. I'm gonna blow myself up with one of them, then I'm gonna get mad, and then I'm gonna play even worse. No, I'm already I'm already a little frustrated. Let's not make myself extremely frustrated. Oh yeah, this run is just golden. It does have its upsides though. Teleport 2.0 is definitely an upside. And this can be used to my advantage, I just need to use it correctly. Well, what about Guillotine Genius? Well, Guillotine is both an upside and a downside. This thing, the run is not unsalvageable. I just need to find a way to put the pieces together. Uh. I swear, some of these rooms all by themselves can spell my death. going. Alright, let's not push my luck any further. I'm already thinking I have basically no luck. You have 1.0 luck. Shut up, that's not what I meant. What I'm saying is I know my own personal luck, and if I keep pushing it, 
Well, I know where it's gonna get me. Alright, shop. Hopefully the shop has some better items in it than the item room. Oh, well, got a soul heart. So that's something. Card any good? Death card. Obviously there are uses for that. Oh, hello. Give me that. Go away, spiders. And yes, that is yet another downside of the guillotine, is difficulty aiming. Alright, so that now puts my... ooh, two of diamonds. That puts my shot speed back down to normal, but it also does improve my fire rate, which is going to be a big help. And I now have to remember that I have that... I have that two of diamonds there, so I can go get some more money, double it, and then hopefully be in a better position. Fortunately, I'm still noticing the obvious trend of I don't think I have what it takes to beat Delirium, but we haven't we haven't made it to the final few floors yet, so maybe there's nothing to worry about. You know what? I don't even want to bother with this room. And yes, I do know of a way to get into that boss trap room. It's going to require me knowing how many red hearts I have, but that shouldn't be a big deal. I have full red hearts. That's what I thought. Okay, so I actually have to beat Envy here. And then I can use then I can use the the boss trap room to get the to get my last few charges. Make my way into the devil deal room, which hopefully has something good in it. So, um, that door should be open right now. I'm not sure I understand why that door isn't open. Now I understand. So I can't exactly see my hearts right now, obviously, because the game is just loving to make a mockery of my attempts here. 
But I'm I know I have three red hearts. I thought I had two, but no, I have three. Which means I can gauge how many I have by the status of the door. I think I have one and a half red hearts. Alright, I can't take that until afterwards. We're going for the big brain plays now. Really trying our best. better. Ugh, lame. Okay, I can't risk can't risk using using my head right now. You weren't using your head before, dumbass. No, I mean I can't risk using my orbital. That's what I'm talking about. Can't risk using my orbital. Alright, now I can go back and get the blood bag, get get full red health, get me full red health, HP upgrade, speed upgrade, and then I can go to the devil deal. Ugh, speed upgrade helps. So, will Rotten Baby. Now I don't need to be so worried about my shots because Rotten Baby will be helping me with damage. And there's still that battery on the ground so I can still get to the I Am Error room. And assuming that it's not something horrible like, oh I don't know, more... <laughs> more Ragmen, we should be okay. Alright, so shop is definitely on the agenda for this floor. By the way, I've pretty much given up on the idea of going to Delirium. Mostly because I know there's no way I'm getting to Hush. Ooh. So now there's a chance that the Guppy Dream could be coming alive. But I still want to hold on to Teleport 2.0, it's just doing too much work for me right now. That's right, I'm not too worried about taking damage because I essentially have a guaranteed way to get into devil rooms. I hate this room, so fuck it. Oh, now we have another we have another screen nuke. Alright. Though, so do I want to use it for screen nuking or for mapping? The choices are yours, and yours alone. Anyone playing along with this seed, hopefully you hopefully you've made good choices too. Which by the way, for those wondering, it's 0S6ADY1K. OSHA, do it yourself, K. And DPS ain't bad, I've got plenty of things to be held to help me out with a little bit of coverage. And if I ever decide I want to use it, I've even got Mom's Knife. Well, kind of. I've got Mom's Knife following me. So, I mean, it kind of works. Nice, well-placed headbutt there. By the way, I just noticed the game gave me another Curse of the Unknown, so, I mean, you know, 
How dare I want to know what my health is sitting at. What are you? Two of hearts. Alright, there might be a use for that later. Can oh, cancer. Please. I know that sounds a little insensitive when you just look at it out of context. Oh yes, please give me cancer. So, no idea if this is a run, a one run yet or not, but we definitely have a good run. We can definitely at least beat, beat the game. I'm very iffy on whether or not we can beat Delirium, but the cancer item helps. Okay, so it will be a shop, and it's not just going to be, you know, greed hiding. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey, don't pick that up yet. Wait to see if you get Diplopia in the shop. And, you know, I will comply. I'll, wait. I'll see if we get Diplopia in the shop. Ow. Even though the chances are a little slim, it doesn't mean that the chances are non-existent. So, when we get to the shop, we'll check for Mr. Diplopia. Who knows, maybe, we'll, maybe we will have found a way to break the game. Oh, hello, it's another variant on this room. Yay. Just what I wanted. The run wildly around the room in a circle so as to not get shot by the stone grimaces. It's alright, I did it. Just because I didn't exactly enjoy it doesn't mean I didn't do it. By the way, I do think I made the right choice on Bloody Penny. I wasn't sure at first, but after after last floor, yeah, I think I made the right choice. Ow. Oh, good. I honestly don't know how well I'm doing health-wise. Ah. Um, okay, so no Diplopia. That's a shame. But I can pick up that. I can pick up Starter Deck. Alright, cool. I definitely see you there, Super Secret Room. You didn't think you could hide from me, did you? Another black heart, beautiful. Let's take on the boss now and then go back and fight. God, I hate you. Brownie, you are the reason why we can't have nice things. You're the worst, Brownie. No one likes you. Yeah, look at that. 67% chance at a devil at a devil deal? Nothing. Like I said, I know my own luck. My luck looks something along the lines of there's an 80% chance that this is gonna happen. With that loser! Oh, you thought the odds were on your side? No, we're showing them the number you want to see. But that's not the number we're giving you. So, haha, -ha, fucker. And I will take both of these. And we have a battery up there. Oh, yes, by all means, Dark Bum, take these. You are going to make life a joy. 
only problem I'm having is that I can still only guess as to what my health is. Alright, you come over here, grab this. Guppy's tail. Oh, and I can buy some stuff. Okay. Okay, I must be full on health. I will take Guppy's tail. And on to the next floor. Yeah, sometimes a Teleport 2.0 run takes a little bit of time to get rolling. Oh my god, I can finally see my health. <laughs> okay. Wasn't exactly expecting that. Alright, so now the, now the great mystery. How do we get into the boss trap room in order to make use of Teleport 2.0? We are going to have to hope to find another another sacrifice room, or hopefully do it after after a devil deal. Which I mean, at least there's a hundred percent chance of that right now. Hierophant, the sun. All right, cool. By the way, the reason why I haven't been talking about much outside of the game is because when I'm using when it, nice. When I'm using guillotine, I do have to kind of focus on making sure that I don't just screw myself over with my movements. So it become it becomes this ongoing struggle of do I do I move in this direction? But how do how do I take this one? The problem, of course, is that the focal point of the character is the character's giant head. And that's normally not a problem unless your head is rotating on on an axis, and just ra not randomly, but again, you get the idea, and this will actually... Okay, so now we've got two orbitals, and I want to leave it at that. Now we can go back and do the boss trap room. Out of the way. Go ahead! Alright. So now we no longer need to worry about using about using Teleport 2.0 to get to the Devil Room specifically. Which means we can now use this use it strictly for error rooms. At this point, I feel pretty safe saying that this is a one run, but do I think we'll be able to get to Delirium now is the question. Considering that we're now well out of range for even the Hush fight. Well, we'll see. And if even if I do open up the Void Portal, am I going to feel like fighting Delirium with these stats? No lie, it would be a nice long fight if I do decide to fight Delirium. That was so stupid. But I do have the potential tools for it. I've got Succubus to uh, to help with to help with coverage and a little AOE damage. I've got Dark Bum to supply me with all these soul hearts. And it will be a shop, thankfully. I've got the tools, I'm just I'm just not sure I have the DPS to outlast him. Anyone who's anyone who's played this game long enough knows what Delirium is capable of, and at the moment, I'm not sure I have what it takes to beat him. And this is, of course, assuming I even I even get into the fight in the first place.
Also, is it just me or have we not seen the item room yet? Oh, that was terrible. Say the combination of Mom's Key and and Bloody Penny and Dark Bum is keeping me very well alive. I also just now realized my mistake of not going back for Diplopia, so that's my bad. Now, to be fair, I still like Teleport 2.0, but it's hard to turn down Blank Card. Thanks, game! So I think after... After we get the Devil Deal room and we can go, and we can go back, we'll definitely tank... tank take blank card. Actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to because the Devil Deal room will be open. Then I'll, so no, I need to go tank blank card now. Did I say tank again? I'm an idiot. Dark Sage, you should go back for the speed upgrade! Yes, yes, you're right, of course means I should do this as well. Haha, <laughs> I thought I forgot, didn't you? There, the 1.5 speed range, that's where I feel the most comfortable. But to be fair, I get plenty of work done with the 2.0 speed range as well. But of course, guillotine. That's what makes you feel awkward. First item of the game is the one that's making me feel the least comfortable with my run right now. Um, oh, those are both good. They're also both DPS improvements. Alright. That does make me feel a bit more comfortable. It's still a very iffy question as to whether or not we can outlast Delirium, though. Oh, thanks. Thanks, game. Why Why did they give me the holy chest and then basically say, ah, eh, no items out of it? Open for Cricket's Head. Generally, when you open a gold chest, you're hoping for Cricket's Head. And if you've already had Magic Mush, then you're hoping for Steven. Why would I want Steven instead of Cricket's Head if I already have Magic Mush? That's a good question. I will now answer that question. You see, both both Cricket's Head and Magic Mush have the effect of essentially giving you a times 2 damage multiplier. But they don't work with each other. Which means that if you already have one, you kind of don't want to see the other one. Which, take that with a grain of salt because if you see, cause if you see Magic Mush, you always want to take it just because it is a very effective all stats upgrade, thank you. But if you've already picked up Magic Mush first, and then you see Cricket's Head, it's not going to be as effective. It's still a damage up, sure, but it's not going to be much of one. Oh god, no. That's why I say if you see 
if you see magic mush you know, first, and then you start opening gold chests, you really want to hope for it to be um, Steven, because that'll actually be a bigger damage upgrade. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. A man ain't wrong. Alright, so we're going to temporarily take the Strength card, because that may very well be my ticket to a Devil Deal item. One that isn't so expensive anyway. By the way, it's not like I'm hurting for ways to pay for Devil Deals at the moment. Ooh, Book of the Dead. Oh, that's good. But no, I'm sticking with this. Because, if I can find a way to get into the Delirium fight, I would rather have near-infinite health than anything else. Oh, I ducked. Mostly because my damage just ain't that great. Secret room has nothing of interest. Conquest, okay. I don't mind fighting Conquest, but yeah, your item right now is not doing me any good. Inspiration and improvement. That, on the other hand, is doing me a lot of good. Now I feel like I could go fight. <laughs> I could go <laughs> like I could go fight Delirium. And true, I may have difficulty aiming my aiming my incubus shots, but they one thing they will offer me is coverage. And right now that coverage is also doing double damage because of BFFs. Full disclosure, I'm not 100% sure it's double damage, but it's definitely greater damage. So now we want to see that Void Portal pop up. Even more so if we happen to find that last Guppy item. Which I was about to say could be right here, but no. By the way, thanks to Cancer, after that first tick of damage, basically every other tick which is coming in frequently, thanks to... Okay, yeah, whatever. It's essentially a range improvement. Sun the Hierophant. Oh, well. It's too late for him. Okay, maybe I don't need the sun that badly after all. There we go. So Joker is basically going to enable me an extra devil deal where I shouldn't have gotten one. And that is big. That could actually spell all sorts of dividends for us. I really don't think that getting another plus one to my fire rate is worth the loss of damage. Yara, ooh. God, that's tempting. Ah, 
God, it would be so good. If only I could take three cards with me. So now I need to decide, is it... I still want to take Hierophant with me, but now do I take Joker or Yera? So, the thought process at the moment is... Joker would yield me an extra Devil Rune, which could be another item or two at most. But that Yera Rune could actually be worth a lot more. Yeah, I think that sealed the deal. Now, we can't double too many chests in in the in the chest because I only have 21 keys. Oops. It's fine. Still worked out. This is a dead end, isn't it? Fuck it, I'm out. We spent enough time on this run. We don't need to see every single room. Death's list is coming a little too late to be useful, so I'm just going to leave it. Alright, on to the chest. So we still have essentially two shots at Delirium. And if either of those shots come, I'm sorry, but this video is going to be long. But it's going to be worth it, because you'll get to see a man just break delirium. It'll take a while, but it'll get done. It's very rare that you get a run, get a run so strong that it's capable of one-shotting delirium, so... Even if I do get that far, yeah, it might take a little bit. Thank you for the shielding. Yeah. Well, you can always hope. got a key replacement. Good, good, good. Compassion is a rarity in the favored pitch of battle. Um, kinda didn't want that. Huh, I can blame Mystery Sack for that one. I know where that came from. So, unfortunately, that kind of cuts back on my defensive capabilities. But it is... But I still have cancer, so I'm still... I still feel like I'm fairly well set. Give me that. Hold on, was that a Tintagroth back there? Aha! My sweet Clementine!
So let that be a lesson to you. Super secret rocks are difficult to spot, but not impossible. Ow. Oh, up in this corner. Okay, I wouldn't have gotten hit if I were in the other corner, but... Okay, Agent. Because I'm having such a hard time judging where my hurt box is, I'm actually very happy that I have Infamy to help block some shots for me. Still no Delirium Portal, that's fine. Got one more shot at it. Anything to prolong a soldier's life. And we'll be back. Because I want to double those one more time. Ow. Thank you for the free key. Oh no you don't. I was hoping for a guppy part, but eh. Anything to prolong a soldier's life. Alright, so we now have 16 chests. Oh, hello, Guardian Angel. So, oh, no, not Libra. Don't want that either. Take that. If I can get it. Parting Baby will block occasional shots. Don't care about coins. I'm going to take Experimental Treatment just because it's going to give me spun... This is, of course, assuming I can figure out where my body is, because I don't want to take Libra or Lard. Okay, cool. Zodiac, okay. We'll definitely take Pupila Duplex. We'll definitely, definitely take Holy Light. Uh, I don't actually need that. I love Crack the Sky, but not while I have this. Don't care about the finger. Still take it anyway. It's still damage, it's just not good damage. Alright, so this is another, another run where we would love to see Delirium. Our good old friend, John Delirium. Why do you call John? Why don't you? Touché, Dark Sage. Touché. Another one of those are doing me any good. And yes, I have the other chest I can go back to to double as well. We started with that. Alright, let's go back and double the other chest. So... Even though it's a long run, it's definitely a good run. Homing bombs. I mean, neither of these items are great, but... I mean, they're not detrimental either, so... And you know, I've had runs where homing bombs have actually been the linchpin of my damage, 
So I guess I shouldn't talk smack about homing bombs. They've done me more good than harm. Thank you, Lucky Penny. Unfortunately, we only have one shot at Delirium. And that, of course, is the Blue Baby fight. So we will see what happens as I, or as I plot my course to yet another dead end. Shovel. Alright, that's good. That's good. Ooh, cricket's head. Alright, so we have just an amazing run right now. We just need it to continue. And unfortunately, it's no guarantee. I only have about a 35% chance that we'll, that we'll see the Void Portal after Blue Baby. Am I just blind? Am I just... I'm missing so many doors. Eve's Mascara, not with base shot speed. I do mean shot speed, not... <laughs> I like chocolate milk, but I think this time around would be a bad... It would be a bad time to take it. So we kind of inadvertently did a full floor clear, so yay for us. No thank you. Is that... Ooh, bloody lust. Beautiful. I don't need speed or range, but you know what, I'm taking it. Apparently I'm blind, I can't see doors anymore. <laughs> Yay. Alright. Alright, Delirium. Let's go! Damn you! God damn it, almost an hour long run. As a matter of fact, according to the recording time, it is an over an hour long run. No Delirium? Oh, you suck! But that, that run was fun, so thank you very much for joining me today on this little trip. If you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel to see more in the future. I continue to publish stuff, whether people like it or not. And I will, I will see you again very soon. Until next time, my name is Darksage Walker, and I will be seeing you.